there was a toilet here in that space there I'm going to make a template a template of that curve and of the top and I can go home and make this make this mould this form and make a piece to go on the top which isn't round so I can plant another piece on here on the face it's got a very thin very thin fly on it thinner than six mils so we'll see about that all right this is going to be my template and it scribe this shape onto here but where do you start so i'm going to put this piece on the front here if it'll stay there you go and i'm going to I'm going to put a square line on here. Set my template up to that. A couple of bits of tape on it to hold it in place. We're working off this line, so everything's travelling in this direction. So I need to set my scribers to that distance there. I have to keep them parallel, like that, that way. There's lots of paint down here, but I'll cut that and see how it fits. Staples in there. It's not bad. A little gap there. Right, I've cut a template for that. I'm working off this, so if I flip it over, that will be like a dat. Well, I went shopping for some wood for the tread, and all the boards. That are 32 mil. They weren't 32 mil. They were 31. The wider ones were split, big knots in them. So I'm going to use this. This is two inch. It's 44 mil. And I'm going to join two pieces together. Just big enough. I'm going to cut a couple of pieces of this out. And join them together. I'm going to use this chunky jigsaw blade. Got 
two pieces where knots at this end I'll use this end where it's clean for the tread and it'll join it together I'm going to cut a, a tongue and a groove in here I could use biscuits but it's a bit random a biscuit so I'll just put a tongue and groove in right, I just run these over the jointer square up one edge and then put them through the thickness up it's made them the same thickness so they should Go together nicely now. Uh, this cutter is set at about 9mm, so I'm gonna run it roughly in the center. Between there. Which I've already set. until it's just there then I'm going to raise it and slowly creep up to that line to cut the groove I don't want it tight because I want a bit to get some glue in there but Tight still, raise it up a little bit more. Same stuff, just polyurethane glue. Give it a wiggle. I'm going to leave that a lot. 
So I've got my templates here. That one's for the tread. Put that to one side. This one's for the base. I had a little gap there, so I'm going to try and make up that. I marked it before I left. This is the outside profile, so I've got a little 6mm piece. I'm going to try and go around the outside. Double sided tape. Now I'm going to cut that out, and then I'll use that as a template to make another one. I think I'm going to leave this sticker blade in, it might spelch a bit, but at least it won't wonder. one cut and you see the blade keeps square because I use that thicker one Right, when I made the templates I took loads of photos with the tape measure in so that I can see the size and it also just helps you to remember what you're actually making and what it's got to fit to. So this needs to be 165mm. So put the tape measure on 165 Whatever that reads there is the size that you need for the pieces in between, which is 130mm. I've got some 2 one here. I'm going to cut the knots out, use the pieces in between, and cut 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 630mm pieces. six of them cut. I'm only going to use five so I've already marked it out on here. This one that goes at this end I've cut to go there and these are going to sit around like that with this edge just touching the edge of this. This one I haven't cut because it's it's nearly square. And I've transferred the marks over onto this board, these marks down here. Now it's going to sit on like that. I'm going to glue it with that PU glue again. And I'm going to staple it with these, which are surprisingly strong. This glue swells up a little bit so you don't need much, but you don't really want to get it on your fingers either.
while that's drying I'm going to cut some ply to wrap around it cut lots of little grooves through this I've gone through the two layers and just into the outer layer the grain goes this way on the outer layer but the veneer goes the other way the veneer is very thin on this ply but that layer hopefully should let me bend it around we'll see I've got some of these strap clamps band clamps Taken off the little corner things, I can get out of the way. I'm going to use this PU glue again. Hopefully, it'll swell up and fill up any gaps. Right, a bit of fannying around, but it's on, leave that overnight to dry up.